Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to add new keynotes to the Easy Keynoter palette. I'm going to first of all find a section where I want to add a keynote and in this case it's going to be in Doors and Windows, under Windows and we've got Aluminium Windows here and Wood Windows. I want to add a section for Plastic Windows so I'm going to either select um, I'm going to select the main route above the windows doesn't matter you can select down here as well in this case I'm going to select here and I'm going to add on the plus to add a keynote it'll bring up the add keynote dialog box where I then go and put a number in for the uh, keynote value now we've got 80520 and 80550 if I put in a number that is already taken, you will notice that um, the text box here turns red and it says it must be unique. Revit will not allow duplicate key numbers in the Revit database. So it's doing a check there just to make sure that um, we are putting in a unique number. So in this case I'm going to put 70 in there and I'm going to type in plastic windows there is also a checkbox here for override auto text formatting um, in my settings dialog up here I've got it set as title case and even though I'm typing in a lower case you'll see what happens with the windows here it overrides that so it'll always be title case otherwise if I didn't want that I could turn that off and then type in Windows. Okay um, the keynote location same as selected keynote if that was the case it would put it on the same level as here I'm wanting it in the next level down so I go level below selected keynote. If you've got a uh, discipline set up um, for some of our filtering and stuff up here which I'll have another video shortly on disciplines we can set a discipline that this keynote goes on as well so I'm going to put architectural and I'm going to put in here test keynote as a comment once you've filled out that we can go OK and it adds the keynote there now there's no need to reload that Revit keynote or go up to annotate and reload the keynote file that's all been done in the background for you and this keynote now is ready to use if I hold my mouse over here we've got um, plastic windows and actually if I were to refresh this it would also have a comment come up if I press the middle mouse button it'll show the the history of this keynote, who entered it, the date, the time, the type of um, edit, the old values and the new values. There will be a video on history tracking of keynotes available as well at a later date. So that's how easy it is to add a keynote. If you end up putting your keynote in the wrong level you can drag and drop it to another level by holding down the shift button and dragging it to the desired location. Not only is that doing it in the Revit in the Easy Keynoter um, dialog but that also did that in the within Revit. So if I expand that um, Windows and there goes plastic windows there with under underneath that tree. So no need for a manual reload, that's all being synchronized in the background by Easy Keynoter. That's how easy it is to add keynotes to the Easy Keynoter database.